A lot of robotics projects focus on trying to get a robot to do one very particular thing. And in this project, and in a lot of our research, we're focused on general purpose techniques for allowing robots to do lots of different things. We're providing a general framework that allows people to show robots how to do a task and then have robots learn from what they were shown. Mobile Aloha has two arms and also wheels so that it can move around and manipulate things. A robot as simple as this, which is two parallel grippers, can actually perform a pretty wide variety of tasks. Right now the robot focuses mostly household tasks. So we have completed uh, saute a shrimp and put a pretty heavy pot into the cabinets and also navigate to the elevator, push a button, and take the elevator. But we also have tasks where the robot interacts with a human, which is when it does a high five. The robot isn't just a cool machine. We also want it to be fun and appeal to what people think a future home robot should look like. In the past, people mostly rely on programming to tell the robot what to do step by step. This is a very tedious process. We rely on a technique called imitation learning to teach a robot by collecting human demonstrations in the environment. A human will use the teleoperation interface, kind of like a puppeteering-like setup, to demonstrate to the robot with its own arms how to complete a task. We need to repeat the task for around 50 times. And for each time, we'll randomize where the object is and the lighting or even some other things. So the data has enough diversity. The AI models that we use um, to control the robot actually have very similar architecture to all the state-of-the-art AI models like ChatGPT. We open source all the hardware and software designs. So actually anyone in the world could look at our bag of material and follow our tutorial to build the exact same machine. What we really want to see is that this project could bring more excitement to robotics and also just democratize the accessibility of robots. For the most part, we've seen robots be most successful in incredibly controlled environments like in factories and warehouses where you can just program the robot to go through an exact particular motion over and over again. For robots to be successful out in the real world, they need to be able to perceive their surroundings and react to their surroundings we're interested in seeing whether we can kind of leverage machine learning to allow robots to be more intelligent and, and actually push them out into the real world. Helping robots are a very promising future of the field that we can, as an AI researcher and roboticist, make a positive impact in the society.